given the choice whether to rule a corrupt and failing empire or to challenge the fates for another throw, a better throw against one's destiny. What was a king to do? One can only match, move by move, the machinations of fate, and thus defy the tyrannous stars. So I returned to the sanctuary of my enemy, the fortress of the Sarafan Brotherhood, deemed impossible for any man to penetrate. <laughs> impossible for any man. Deep within these walls my prey awaited. Mobius the Time Streamer, deceiver and eternal gamester, using living beings as his pawns. In the end, we'd rooted out an entire nest of the fiends. But we had swept that area already. Not well enough, but no matter. We purged every last one of that brute with fire and their souls now rest. Lord Mobius will be pleased. It was time for Mobius to answer a few questions. I hoped for his sake to find him in a forthcoming mood. Hey, what is up, people? Uh, we are playing Legacy of Cain Defiance, because Soul Reaver 2 just doesn't work. And um, there are ways to get it to work, but I just uh, I don't have time to dig through and, and mess with it. And I just wanted to kind of do like a revisit it. And I'm actually pretty familiar with that one, in and out. So, for my own memory and uh, playthrough of this, you know, revisiting this, I know where we're at. Uh, last one ended with Raziel almost getting absorbed into the Reaver, Kane saving him and changing time, and then regretting it immediately. And they don't really tell you what happens, except he says, oh no, the hill didn't. Now he's here, as Cutscene explained, to find Mobius, the time streamer. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I mean, this series really needs to, to have some love and remasters or something, because while you can buy them on PC, they're very, very broken. So, I mean, this one seems to work, but, like, if I hit both triggers, I can do this, which is good, because when I first tried one trigger, this is what happens. And I can't, I literally can't move anything but the, the left stick here. And it disappears in that way. Wonderful. So, yeah. Yep, nope. Just let's, nope. Let's not use one trigger at a time. We use both. We can do this. Um, this seems to be lock on and sneak. And this is block. Alright, I think we can play this. The other thing is the controller support is just not even existent for the first two games. Blood Omen 2, from what I've heard. Hey, boyos. What's up? Oh, snap. Forgot this one was a little more, uh... 
How do I do? What? How do I feed? Oh, I failed you. is the action button. Is that also the feed button? It sucks, because I really love these games. And the stories of these games. Help me! Oh, please, no! From time to time, it is necessary to feed. And the unusual event of a feast prepared by the Seraphan must be savored. of water is like acid to a vampire. I had to find another way to pass.
my prey was nearly in my grasp. But the door had been sealed by a blessed barrier. As I approached, the reaver resonated in response. Perhaps its dark sorcery could dispel these holy barriers. was not yet powerful enough to shatter these barriers, but there was something to this. The show. <laughs> also, the first game we get to play is Kane in the Soul Reaver branch of the series. Actually, this isn't a Soul Reaver, this is just Legacy of Kane Defiant, so that's why. It's Legacy of Kane Blood Omen. Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver 2, Blood Omen 2, and now Defiance. Received an Arcane Tomb. What's that? Two. How do I? How do I make you go? Can I not? door over here and a gate we can uh, morph through over here. Oh, this is the way we came in. Durr. I need 
knew that. Totally knew that. That's where we got the arcane tomb. These are the doors. All right. Let's go to this other door. Why do these look like they're something? Yeah. Apparently you can't just leave the menu. It takes a while for the menu to load. Locked. What a love of doors these pathetic humans have. These games are fantastic if you can play them. If you can't, then uh, I wouldn't advise buying them on any PC with Windows 10. I saw Windows 7 issues as well, unless you're willing to really put in the time and the downloads of all kinds of third-party software to make them work. And even then, people were still having issues. This is an Xbox 360 game. There's no reason it shouldn't work. Like, and if it doesn't work, then why is it available? Why is it available to purchase? Um, they need remasters. The series needs a sequel. Um, even a reboot, you know? Uh, I'm really sad, because I love these games. I love this entire series, and I can't even share that with you. Um let alone enjoy it for myself. So, I'm really frustrated with this. I'm really sad. Uh, like I said in my Soul Reaver video, I'm not gonna refund it because I got it on sale for one, so I paid like a dollar for each of these games, but they're normally seven or eight dollars. 
Um, this one actually might be a little bit more even. And, you know, they just, they deserve some love from the creators and the production companies. You know, whoever has the rights to this stuff really needs to show this series some love. Um, not just to have it be abandoned out there in a broken state. Uh, a remaster would be great. Fixing it would be the bare fucking minimum. <laughs> but fixing it would be good. Remastering it would be great. They're probably not going to. And a reboot would be wonderful, let alone a sequel. So... I, I still can't do anything, and I've, I've all tabbed out of the game. Uh, it does, doesn't matter. Still, it, as you can tell, what you're seeing, I can see it on my other screen here. What you're seeing is not what I'm seeing. My screen is black since I tried to mess with the graphics to improve the fucking breakages. I'm done. This is a joke on Steam and Crystal Dynamics. You're both trash, and get your shit in order. That's it for me. Peace. Uh, un fucking believable.